You're listening to a portion of our conversation from episode 239, featuring the Jurassic Wire with myself, Brad Jost, and co-host Aaron Beyer. If you want to hear the full conversation, download the full episode on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever else you listen to podcasts. In today's video, we have a collectibles and toy discussion for you. We chat about the recently revealed Chronicle Collectibles 6-inch line that's going to be going to Kickstarter, our recent findings between Primal Attack and Camp Cretaceous, as well as the reveals of Dennis Nedry in the Amber Collection and 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. So sit back and relax as we boost out the signal for the Jurassic Wire. Let's move on to our next batch of topics here. So um, Mattel has has been releasing a lot of new stuff. We've got Primal Attack hitting shelves. We've got Camp Cretaceous hitting the shelves. What what have you been able to find uh, recently? Have you been finding any of this uh, stuff? Because I don't I don't know what what the collecting looks like in Canada, and I don't know how the the virus, the you know COVID nineteen, is affecting your collecting. Uh, didn't mean the rhyme, but uh, yeah. <laughs> what what's what are things like for you right now with collecting, and specifically what's been out recently? Collecting has slowed down. It's always slower in Canada than it is in the states. Um, mm-hmm. We usually get things like. I would say a month or two later that we'll start to see a trickle of things. And then like, mm-hmm. we don't even start hitting like, uh, like I'll, I'll say like, I noticed the green, uh, cl- not classic edition, legacy edition T-Rex at my Toys R Us. Like we have a ton of those, but we didn't get those yeah. until like COVID like started cropping up. So like, that was like back in oh, February. Wow. So like wow. our Toys R Us has a bunch of those. Mm-hmm. Um, I did go to Walmart yesterday and I picked up the, oh, you're going to make me, uh, the, the one that starts with an O it's a, uh, Orn- it's like a brown. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is. So my Walmart only had attack packs. They had that one, which I picked up two. Um, they had the green, uh, Draco Rex. They had the blue Raptor. Mm-hmm. And then they had, uh, some other, a couple attack packs. I picked up two of the, Oh, dinosaurs. Um, because <laughs> my mentality with Mattel actually has uh, yeah. really shifted. Um, before it was about wanting to get a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. And now that I see how their business model is for Jurassic, I'm, I'm tapering back a little bit. Um, I'm not going to get every repaint of a Raptor. I don't think, um, I'm not going to get dinosaurs, um, that I'm just not interested in. I know like you've been actually really good about that this, this entire time. Like if you're just yeah, not interested yeah. in the dinosaur, you don't pick it up. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of heading in that, that area, especially with things like attack pack size dinosaurs. Um, mm-hmm. they're $13 here for an attack pack. Um, dino. Yeah. Which, and so like, yeah, just buying, buying two of those yesterday set me back $26. Um, so <sighs> yeah, that's rough. That's rough. My my collecting is kind of slowed. I do have some things from Entertainment Earth that came. Apparently, they're they're in the states. And my parents like a couple of Edmontosaurs, which I'm excited to get. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I'm excited for like bigger things now that aren't necessarily uh, Tyrannosaurus. Th- like, is that theropod? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for like animals that aren't like Tyrannosaur builds, like. The Seats, everyone's excited about that one. It's really cool. I'll probably get it because it's like a newer dinosaur, from what I understand. Um, mm-hmm. Just in yeah. in the in general, history like, record, for real, yeah, yeah, generally. Yeah. Um, but like, I just like I don't need more Tyrannosaur style dinosaurs. Like, mm-hmm. I'm okay. really excited for things like Edmontosaurus and the the crocodile, this crocodile looking thing that, that Sarcosuchus, um, yeah, <laughs> Sarcosuchus, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's and I feel like with the new movie coming out, they're probably going to do a whole onslaught of new molds and stuff that I'm going to be interested in. I actually am really interested in the extreme Roran or epic Roran T-Rex. Um, mm-hmm. I want to see that in person before I pick it up, but I think it's so I've said on the podcast before, I love the extreme chomping T-Rex uh, yeah. sculpts and I love the the movement in those, those toys. Um, I'm absolutely in love with the uh, what's the latest line um, 
it's primal extreme attack? chomp and t-rex but it's yeah it's the primal attack so it's like the darker brown yeah, i love right that here. figure um yeah, yeah. like i've got mine <laughs> just I've have mine i just here. happen to have one laying around we're giving this one away guys uh i've got mine here on my desk and i've got a little piece of paper wedged there in his button to like keep his mouth open that probably didn't yeah. frame well that, okay. this thing is this um, thing is cool i love that figure um to me that is my jurassic world t-rex um but i think it's close in scale with like the spinosaur but it's actually really nowhere near scale i don't think to like the indominus uh figure so i'm excited no. to get one that's a little bigger that has the jaw that opens up in both directions rather than like the snake jaw that the original um mm -hmm. t-rex had um yeah i'm excited to pick that one up but uh mattel's still killing it oh I yeah i think i just i gotta slow down yeah i you know i've slowed down considerably i i've been mostly collecting like star wars and um and ghostbusters actually because ghostbusters has re-released a lot of like their the kenner you know, and stuff yeah the kenner stuff like in a yep. original ish packaging um there's been some issues with the packaging but um yeah the those are amazing like i'm getting those i'm getting these like plasma series or plasma collection ghostbusters i'm still on black series star wars stuff and, and i can't get enough of baby yoda which he, he might not show up oh no, he shows up uh this thing is amazing like this is incredible um but yeah everything's been like star wars except for like maybe a few amber collection pieces i haven't really picked up anything jurassic um and this goes back to oh, what was the last thing that i picked up it was probably like the Draco Rex. Um, and that was before okay. all this too. So it was probably one right. of those, that Calavosaurus, that blue one, uh, the Ornitholestius, whatever that one is. Um, mm -hmm. I picked up one or two of those. Um, but the yeah, the rest of the primal attack stuff I haven't. I haven't gotten any Cryolophosaurus or the Tarbosaurus. Like you're oh, saying that. I love that, the Cryolophosaurus. I love yeah. that figure. I've kind of like yeah. tossed and turned. I, I, every time it's always in my store, it's always there. And I'm like, should I just get it? I mean, that's kind of one of those those figures that I, I won't get initially, but after weeks and weeks and weeks, maybe I'll, I'll pick it up. Um, the Tarbosaurus is one that I don't ever want to own. Um, really? Just, like, why not? Yeah, it. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't think it looks like a Jurassic figure whatsoever. Um, it just okay. doesn't, it doesn't seem to fit the bill for me. It just doesn't fit in but but then again like something like a seats i'm like you know i'll get that i don't know i just like that but i don't like the tarbosaurus i don't know something about it just feels off and and sure I mean, the seats isn't isn't great like it's not like a great figure its head is too big and its tail is too small and all that stuff but yeah i, I kind of like it i don't know there's some some figures i just kind of like for some odd reason and some i just do not like and the tarbosaurus is one that i don't like the Cryolophosaurus, I'm excited for a repaint. Um, I've mm. also been slowing. I've also been lessening on the quantity I buy of a lot of these. Um, yeah. I mean, this is basically now just boiling down to space, like in my closet, right? Sure. Um, yeah. But I am excited to get. Um, so I have a bunch of Stiggy Molex, uh from the first few runs, but they were all the same color scheme. They were all like yeah. the one in the yeah. movie. And the Camp Cretaceous one is just different enough that I feel like I want to get a couple of those to be like, Hey, here's like the male and female. Like, uh, yeah, it's just a little uh, bit darker. Yeah, yeah. It's a little different. And it's the same with like the Carnotaur. I said in the last podcast, I'm excited mm -hmm. to get the next Carnotaur figure. Like I am excited for figures. I'm excited for some of these repaints that actually feel like they belong in the mm -hmm. world. Um, sure, sure. I've, I've basically been passing on all the, like the new Triceratops I passed on, I pass on that new big Pteranodon. Um, but I'm even excited to go get that green Draco Rex. I want a few of those to like sprinkle in um, yeah, to yeah. that that paddock, if you will, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think any kind of third like paint job, if I like it better, I get it and I sell the one that I don't like as much. Like, especially mm -hmm. if it's a dinosaur that's not in the movies. Um, I'm not opposed to doing like a, a a buy and sell or like a trade kind of thing or like eBay for ones that just don't really fit the bill anymore for what I'm after. I think I think history will not be kind in resale value for a lot of these figures. Sure. Um, I think the Kenner stuff is still going to be the stuff that just crazy sells. I know like 
even when you go on eBay now, you can still find some of these Mattel figures, but they don't sell for crazy, crazy prices. They sell for roughly what you bought them for. Yeah, um, unless uh, unless it's like some so. of those. There's some that like maybe just came out in Canada or maybe came out in Mexico or some random sure, place. Yeah, that yeah, like of course. that. Yeah, we can't get here, but they're available somewhere else. And you know, there's a few of those figures out there um, that are fairly rare. Um, but yeah, there's there's an, a bunch of nice like repaints right now. I think we've talked all about like what's coming out and everything. Um, but I haven't been able to find any Camp Cretaceous stuff. I know. I'm getting super jealous because everybody's out there finding all the Camp Cretaceous stuff. People are buying Bumpy already, and um, yeah, and all this other stuff. And I, I know some 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 items like I think Toro and and the T Rex. I think you can maybe get online, um, but I just I'd rather just but, find it. You know, that's, you know what I do uh, is I'll get on Entertainment Earth because you can like almost pre order all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll put in a pre order because they don't charge you up front. They only charge you when the item ships. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll put yeah, in yeah. pre-order and then if I find it naturally, I'll just cancel my pre-order. Like, I mean, yeah, that might yeah. not be the most honorable thing to do, but <laughs> at least I'm reserving one, you know, yeah. in that or, way. Or you're like me and just forget that you had a pre-order and then you get multiple items and then you're like, oh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> that, that happened to me. It was not a good day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, stuff like, uh, let's see the post of Sucus, like that's one that you can't find really very easily. I know people are kind of importing stuff like that. Um, yeah, this Velociraptor echo, I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything from Camp Cretaceous and I don't love everything, but I'm, I'm just bummed. I haven't been able to see it. And my store has not restocked, uh, until today. I went there today and I saw eight Indominus Rex in, in the primal attack pack uh packages um not attack pack that, packages just attack packages um but yeah is that, that the one that we got i yeah i mean it's the same one it's the same one just repacked um oh, oh okay i'm trying to think what packaging so, we got our indominus in um it was like this it was the dino rivals package i think was it dino rivals uh, packaging okay i believe so um but now they have it in the primal attack but also there's sure. like the, the the super colossal indominus which i saw in person and it's amazingly beautiful i just haven't seen one in stores i know people are getting a lot of end caps right now or showcasing uh, yeah. uh, the super colossal indominus and the epic chomp epic epic roaring see these names <sighs> epic roaring t-rex which is fun it's it's a little goofy and it's like head shake um but it's still yeah. it's still kind of cool like and apparently i i've not had it and i haven't like had time to really analyze it outside of seeing it really quickly um in new york but like it, everybody's saying that it's probably the best sculpt that they're that they've made so far for the rex it's probably around the size of the um the threat threat thr thrash and thrash. throw <laughs> well, so that's the thing. names man. i think i think the thrash and throw and actually oh yeah i'd have to like get up and go get it i think the thrash yeah. and throw is a great scale i just hate the 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 hinge of the jaw it only opens in the bottom okay. and the thing looks like it's a it looks like a snake it's really weird like i don't I guess I don't understand why that was the decision to do that. Um, yeah, that's one that I never got. I never really liked that figure, but um, that was the first one I got because when I went to the store, like remember the remember the day that we were all gonna go and there was gonna be hundreds of Jurassic World figures on the shelf yeah, for the release yeah. date, and then we all went to the store and there was either nothing or there was like two <laughs> figures. Like, April sixteenth, two thousand and eighteen. Yeah, I remember that day very well. <laughs> the most disappointing day <laughs> in all of history. Um, but like. That was one of the ones that my store did have, and yeah. I just grabbed it out of sheer like this is all they got. Like I gotta mm -hmm. get this. Um, yeah, maybe if that so, was one of the first ones I came across, maybe I would have too. But like, yeah, I came across like the Carn Carnotaurus and uh, you know Baryonyx and Allosaurus, and I was like, I'll scoop these three and and take these up sure, to the counter. Sure. Um, yep. But yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so. I'm excited for that T-Rex. I really, I really want it. I'm, I think I'm going to pre-order one. And then uh, if I can find one in, in the wild, great. Cause the nice thing also about entertainment earth. So the, the problem with entertainment earth is that they, their shipping is like $10 a box. Like it's, mm -hmm. I think it's fairly high. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it, it is. they also get stuff way later than like everyone else. So when you pre-order from them, odds are you'll probably find it and be able to cancel it. No problem. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you want to support that business, then just it's great to wait. But yeah, they charge like ten dollars per 
box, like when you get ship stuff shipped. So um, I would actually love to see Big Bad Toy Store get more Jurassic World stuff. Um, they do things called they have a thing called like the pile of loot where you basically can buy stuff and there's, they'll hold it for like up to six months. And then they'll send huh. you everything at one time for like one shipping cost. I wish that Big oh, wow. Bad Toy Store okay. had more drastic stuff. It'd be great. Um, yeah, I know. But they kind of... Earth, who's, they're doing great work too. So, <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I know Big Bad Toy Shop or store or whatever. Um, pretty much the only thing I've gotten from them is the uh, Charlie, uh, Amber Collection Charlie. Um so yeah, I haven't oh, really gotten anything else there? from there. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of gone in and out of stock, so I don't know what the availability is, uh, you know, at this time. I, I wasn't into Amber Collection, and now I'm kind of like, oh, the Raptors I, are. Cool. I love it. Yeah, you have? Do you have Maybe any just, or no? no? No, because they're so hmm. expensive here. Like, oh, like, okay. like an Ian Malcolm was what originally like thirty bucks. It's like a fifty dollar figure here. Like. It's absolutely so. Crazy. I don't. I don't so, know if it's still available, but it was on like severe discount. I think through GameStop uh, somewhere. It was. It was like really, really discounted um, online. Okay. But keep your eyes peeled. I really love them. I love them so much, and that's like, I. I've never. I've. I've been pretty outspoken that I. I don't really care too much about the three and three quarter inch line. Outside of the fact that, like, yes, the scale is great. It. It, it works with the humans, the dinosaurs. Everything's great i just don't really care for the humans all that much in that scale i like this bigger scale i don't like ian all that much but i like owen and i love the dinosaurs um wouldn't so... it wouldn't it be crazy if there was some middle scale like <laughs> maybe like five or six inches that would be in scale with not only dinosaurs but with 25 years of collecting yeah, Kenner figures. Yeah. What is that like four? What is that like four inches or so or four? No, that's got to be a little bit more. Four and a half, five. Yeah, yeah, four and a half or five, something like that. Yeah, because they're they're a bit bigger than the uh, three and three quarter inch. Yeah, um, yeah. and I just love those ones so much. And that's that was my reasoning for not liking Jurassic Park three toys. Um, yep. And 100%. I think that's I think that's always been my reason for not really liking three and three quarter inch. And that goes all the way to Star Wars. I don't. I know that's like you know the Star Wars scale, but like I just don't care well, for it. So you're a Star Wars guy. Like I've got a few spaceships. Like I like collecting Star Wars things basically with the spaceships. And then what will happen is I'll get a couple of characters to fly those spaceships. Yeah. And then that's basically like the display on my desk for however long. Right. Yeah. But was there ever a point that the spaceships were not three and three quarter scale? I get like obviously the Kenner days. I'm not sure. Right. But like all the spaceships I have are three and three quarter. And so to me it was like. I guess that makes sense for Star Wars if the biggest – if you you can't do Star Wars and not have ships. Like that just doesn't make sense. I, I don't have any ships. <laughs> oh, I, I have – I have – I have um I have like Lego ships and stuff like that and add at – or not add at – sure, yeah. um a few other things. But yeah, um I don't have any I mean, like ships to go in. I only have a handful of three and three-quarter inch figures anyway, just like ones that I really wanted. Um, yeah. But – um, yeah, I'm more into the Black Series for Star Wars, and I think that's a great scale. And isn't there like there is like a Millennium Falcon? Um, there's a oh, bunch of know. them in in scale. There's a Millennium uh, Falcon, I think, coming sometime. But yeah, there's a lot of um, other ones, and they're, they're, they've all probably remade these all at times. But um, I don't have any. I have the um, probe droid. I just got that recently in that scale, and it's great. I love it. It's awesome. It's a good scale. It's smaller than this Jurassic scale. This Jurassic scale is just a a tad bigger. Um, and I don't necessarily love that. I wish the humans were more on the six inch scale versus six and a half to seven, um, with that pedestal. So, but see, you're like, you're, you're what I consider to be like a normal collector. Like you're wanting, <laughs> you're wanting to get these things because you like the sculpt and you like the art yeah, and you like yeah. just having like a memento of like the, the, the character that you like on the shelf. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like weird. Like I have this dream that I'm going to one day have property and I'm going to be able to go out and like <laughs> photograph the volcano herd scene from, <laughs> from like fallen kingdom. Right. And yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So to me, that's why I collect, that's why I have like six or seven of the Coriolis or whatever those things are called. And that's why I have like 25 Gallimimus, which like it didn't even dawn on me when I first started collecting. Cause I was so desperate for the Gallimimus from Mattel. Yeah. <laughs> those things are nowhere near the scale of a Gallimimus. Like, no, they're, so they're pretty small. Yeah. They're pretty small. Um, but 
yeah, I don't know. I just I I hope to one day be able to do that, and I think that's that's why I collect because I remember as sure. a kid, like, and I think I've told this story here, but someone like got me an like a packy cephalosaurus. It was a duplicate. They're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, are you kidding? Like now I have two. <laughs> um, you know, don't be sorry. Uh, yeah, don't be sorry. Like this is amazing. So yeah, I don't know. I think my reasons for collecting are a little different, and I love sure. scale and. I want them all to be one scale and I just need Mattel to just keep just pump out more humans. God, I got to have more than one a year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that one in a second. But yep. uh, first I, I, I didn't know if that um, Dennis Nedry tipped the scale for you in the Amber collection, six inch, or it's not even six inches, it's a little bit bigger usually, but no, um, I mean, didn't tip the scale at all for you. Find him, no, unless I can find him discounted now do i have to get him with the dilophosaur because i am interested in no. the dilophosaur no yeah they're, they're separate uh you know i think they're both around like the, tw the De dennis is 26.99 uh i don't have the dilophosaur up but it's probably right around the same um let now, me see here i mean you know why i'm interested in that dilophosaur and it's because the sign right well the size i mean oh, the, the size, size is okay. closer it's it's at least closer. a little bit. Yeah. It's a little bit more of an adult, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, so I'm ready. 30, for 31 99, 31 99 for that Dilophosaur. These are coming in July. So these are hopefully shipping sometime soon. And I am pumped yeah. about that, dude. But yeah, I get it. it. The size of that makes a lot more sense for yeah, you. I'm, I'm excited for that size. Um, Dilophosaur to play with my three and three quarter, uh, scale <laughs> dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can find if I can find Nedry at a discount, maybe, but I don't think he will be. Um, I can't I imagine. Kinda, I chalk the, I chalk the Malcolm being on sale. I chalk that up to bad partnership with GameStop and EB Games. Like, yeah, yeah. I just don't know if the toys are selling as much as they hoped they hoped they would. Yeah, I don't think things really went well with GameStop. They're not a really good partner for all this. But Entertainment Earth seems pretty good, and uh, they still have not really found their footing, like I was saying with Charlie. Like, we we really don't know what's going on with that. It's always hard to find. Um, but uh, Blue and Owen seem to be good. They're on good terms, it looks like. Um, but I am very excited for this Dennis Nedry in the six-inch amber scale. Um, I You know, I just like that you know, having an official Dennis Nedry styled figure. It just looks, it great. looks like main night. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It looks good. You've got like multiple, you got two faces. You got the Barbasol can that opens up. You got uh, another set of hands. Um, he looks great. He looks awesome. Dilophosaurus. I'm very excited for that as well with the East doc sign, the different frill and, um, and all that. It looks fantastic. So I am, this is something that I do already have pre-ordered. So hopefully get that sometime soon. Um, but I think really the big deal, um, which, uh, yeah, where do I even have that guy? Oh, here he is. Uh, Dennis Nedry, this came out the other day, uh, the three and three quarter inch. So talking about how I don't really like three and three quarter inch, this is a little bit different just because like, these are like exclusive. Same thing with John Hammond. I was like pretty pumped to get that one. Um, mm -hmm. and this is, uh, something really, really unique. Were you able to pre-order this the day it came out? I was, um, okay, good. I actually, I actually tried getting four, um, <laughs> okay. no, but like, look, okay. look, not as like, a, not as like a hoarder mentality. I try to get multiples of these things because I, I would rather have like Tom or Jay, mm -hmm. like everybody feels if, safe. Yeah. Like if they're not going to like, yeah. If like, if, if some of my friends or contributors here on the podcast, like don't get one, I would rather be the guy that has four of them than a scalper out on eBay, right? Because I'll I'll sell them the extra for just cost and shipping, right? Like, yeah, yeah. So I tried getting four, and Entertainment Earth was actually really good, and they only let you buy one at a time. Mm -hmm. um, so I was able to get one. I didn't have the problems that you guys were all having with the website. I, oh. I hit my submit, and it spun for like a solid – 20 seconds but then it went through like no problem wow, like wow. i didn't there was there wasn't a point where i felt worried um that i wasn't gonna <laughs> get one i added it to my basket pretty quick and was at checkout pretty quick so i i I'm was very so, worried <laughs> we're excited for this <laughs> i was worried I, I it took me 25 minutes and i think 25 minutes in terms of pre-order 
time is 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 like a lifetime you know it felt oh, like it forever really. and you just yeah. know that things are probably going to sell out and you don't want to miss out so yep. you know i had that fear with with hammond and i i i wasn't able to get him actually i think i i wasn't um for some odd reason but i believe somebody sent me one and then mattel also sent me one too so thank you mattel um but uh this yeah i was worried about this one as well because it's super um, exclusive just in a way. It's super... way more exclusive feeling than than Hammond, just because of the packaging and whatnot. Hammond probably more of an exclusive figure, but this what, is what a, a full. Just because Hammond is, I feel like he's. We've never had a Hammond, you know. We've never right. had anything. That was the first thing to ever come out for him. We've had some Dennis Nedrys before, and we have a an Amber Collection Dennis Nedry, but this, you know. This is different. This is a little bit different for sure. But the fact that it comes yeah. with all this stuff, like a this Barbasol can that spins open and, and has sound effects. It says lines from the movies. Great has that packaging. stand. Yeah, yeah has the backdrop. Packaging. It's amazing. It's incredible. And um, I compared them in pretty good de uh, depth in a different video. So go check out that video. Um, but I think ultimately the Amber Collection one is is the is the is just a little bit more Nedry. Uh, like his his look is a little bit more looks like Nedry than the uh, three and three quarter inch one, but still it still looks pretty good. Um, and it made me realize that I had I I've never noticed his pants or his sandals in the movie. No, me neither. <laughs> I've I've noticed his pants in the movie. They're like yeah. the denim stretch pants, but like I never noticed that he's wearing sandals in that in that scene. Because so this is <laughs> this is all stuff from the um, Costa Rican diner scene, yeah. right? Um. I'm so happy that this is the outfit they chose. Yes. Um, yeah. Because to me, this is how I remember him one from the beginning of the movie. This is how I remember him sitting in the control center. Um, although I think he had a white jacket over uh, his clothes there. Yeah. The only it bummed me out about the Amber collection and I get why they did it because it's the Dilophosaur sequence, but I was kind of bummed that like, like I wouldn't want a three and three quarter figure of him in the yellow rain jacket because that's not, that's not everyday Nedry, you know, because like, <laughs> like, like I'm going to play with these as a 35 year old yeah. guy. Like, this, this is like everyday Nedry. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I'm super excited. I almost wrote Wayne Knight about it on Twitter, but I'm sure he probably got a billion oh, tweets about sure. it. And he probably doesn't care. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I think Seinfeld for him trumps his, his uh, accomplishments, but, um, but yeah, I'm super excited to get this. Uh, I did tell you at one point, and I'm I'm changing my tune, that I if a regular edition came out in a regular box, I would much rather have that. But I think I I saw a video today where you hit the top and it talks, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh oh no, this is way cooler. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really really cool. I mean, it has this nice like exclusive Jurassic Park, very classic style box. It looks fantastic. Um, the fact that thing that thing spins, I love that backdrop that you know has that costa rican area um yep. the you know it, it it you continue being despicable when you have that cherry pie there with the shaving cream on top and it's i always it always makes me cringe every time it happens in the movie you got his bag you got the barbasol can and yeah I, the, I love the fact that he is in this attire um you know that it's not just a a copy of the um you know the other attire when it came to the amber collection Dennis Nedry. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not Dennis Nedry. Ian Malcolm. That just seems like a scaled up three and three quarter inch Amber collection. Uh, sure figure. it was. And same thing with Owen. I mean, he's, you know, pretty similar. His vest does remove. For the Amber collection, I kind of wished that he would come with a jacket, not just have a jacket. And the under jacket, the 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 it's a gray jacket in the movie. For some reason it looks a little green or bluer here um and i think when you when you watch it throughout the sorry, movie it does you talking about that he under his raincoat that, that you said a white jacket or something before um he, he has it's like a, a a light gray jacket i think in the oh, movie it is a light gray jacket yeah. i'm sorry yeah, but it, for some it, reason it it does show up similarly to this bluish green here uh whatever color this is um okay. it does show up like that in the lighting for some odd reason and that's just it's like the same reason everybody thinks the raptors are like green um, you know, in the original movie, because of the lighting in some certain sections that makes them look a little green. Um, really? But yeah, that Universal com 
you know, has always kind of confused that. And uh, it's showcased in some of the figures that they've released. Um, but we have this wonderful floral print. Uh, it looks fantastic. I love this. I'm so happy it's a yeah. different different outfit. Um, the glasses don't have that dark rim up top, so that's kind of a bummer. But it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, but, yeah, he's really cool. Really, really cool figure. And I am so excited. Um Nineteen ninety nine. He already sold out. He sold out within the first hour. Um, I was able to get one. I tried to get a few, but it didn't work out for me. And even if it did work out, they're canceling multiples anyway. So they they put yeah. out a thing that said they're already canceling. Um, you know, if you got multiples, if they, you know, even if you bought it on like probably a different account or something, they're still probably going to cancel it anyway. They're they're going to track the it down. Press, you think? Probably they'll probably check the name and the address and see, you know, who matches up or whatever. So, yeah, but it's it's kind of a tricky situation because like what if like, you know, say, for instance, my wife got wind that this was going to be released and she's like, well, let me try to get this for him for some reason, thinking that I wouldn't try to get it myself. But, um, right. you know, but then maybe you have two showing up to your house and they cancel one of them. And it's like, oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I understand but from a scalper point of view, these things were already getting put up on eBay. And that is kind of a dangerous situation because we know, you know, people are buying them on eBay. And if they get canceled, like it's going to create a big mess. Um, if people bought multiples and they're listing them on eBay, right. thinking that they have it, it's kind of a mess. Now, the question for you, do you think this is it? No, no way. Um, but it can't I, I possibly think, be, right? First off, I think there's going to be a second wave. That's my my instinct. I think there will be a second wave just because of the issues that they've seen with this. Yep. The fact that it sold out really quick. Um, I know Barbasol, I think, might be giving away some or one. I don't really know what their plan is, but they did hint that they will, you know, to keep an eye on their page for for giveaways. So okay. that's a thing. I, I'm going to assume that a second wave will come just because of the cancellations. Um, but after that, I think there will be a release somewhere down the road. I mean, look, we've got John Hammond is hitting the stores. He's going to be, you know, back on the shelves with Ellie Sattler. <sighs> Oh, in the and, in the in the retro uh, collection, uh, whatever the collection is. No, I don't mean retro. Yeah, collection, I know the but collect, retro like, stupid, stuff. But I'm gonna you know? buy the thing because I want those Raptors. Yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm kind of tired of the the poses. Uh, after all this time, it's like the two poses, yeah. and that's it. You know, even though I like that Cyclops Raptor style pose, um, I'm kind of tired of. I've I've have several of them already in that pose. It's just these are just like. A, a browner version um so and then of course i think the reason you need to buy it is the banner the when dinosaurs ruled the earth like that's something that comes with it and that's pretty awesome yeah it is pretty awesome darn it i'm gonna buy it i know yeah and i i already have what? two hammonds so <laughs> i'll have a hammond that i'll end up giving to uh so like i have two hammonds in the box um, I got one for my one for each one of my nephews. Honestly, like the Hammond that comes with the Raptors, I'm fine to like hand that off to a seven year old. Like I got no problem. And sure, then sure. I'll probably put up a, a nice in the box Hammond up online or or to a friend that didn't get one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because I again, I try to get extras, but I'm not trying to get them for financial gain. I'm trying to get them for yeah. friends that I know really want them. So. Um, you know, that, that could be a good thing. And the same with Ellie, I think I have like two Ellie's. Um, so I don't even think I need, I really just want, yeah. Like you said, the banner is cool and I do want the Brown Raptors cause they're classic. I know I am sick of the poses too, especially those attack pack style poses. Like I'm, I'm just over them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I would much rather have had that color <laughs> Raptor in like the, the dino damage or battle damage mm, version. But yeah, yeah. That would have been cool. Um, you know, but no, yeah, it's the same, same old ones. I don't have a picture on hand for the video here, but, um, I think you guys probably know what we're talking about, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'll get, I'll definitely get that pack too. Um, but yeah, I wish there was more than one figure a year. I mean, I guess we're going to be getting Hammond again and Ellie again, um, despite the, uh, legacy collection kind of disappearing it altogether. Um, yeah. So uh, you know what I those... wish it was? I I follow video gaming and I follow movies and like you can you can see how many units of a game 
sell over time and you can see mm-hmm. how many you like how many how much a movie makes over time yeah yeah i i wish there was something for toys like that and if there is like please out there let me know but i would love to see the numbers on the brachiosaur because i want i get it everyone wants the big bad like the colossal t-rex and the colossal blue and the colossal indominus but like to me every colossal of those figures is just not an apatosaurus hitting the shelf it's not you know a mamanchosaurus hitting the shelf like sure. and, you know it's just like i yeah i got my brachiosaur and now i have the bug now it's like oh wait i want more sauropods i think i think that that'll come with time i mean we've talked so? about it i think stuff like that will for sure i mean when it comes to the next film we're going to have probably loads more dinosaurs to talk about and 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 collect um but i think you know they had to save stuff in the back of their pocket. Um, this yeah, but is like actually one he, that the Mamanchosaurus isn't this guy's the Mamanchosaurus is an iconic. I don't. Know. I, I I think it'll. I think though maybe that one not, m- might not. But a Patasaurus. Um, th- look, this is not iconic either. But it's out the Amargosaurus. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, but that, it's it's small it's, though. Like yeah, it is and I think small. Yeah, it's not like a big shelf waster. Like I think you you you're pretty safe to put the Brachiosaur because historically there's never been one. Mm-hmm. And you say, okay, I can probably, we can probably sell X amount of these. I don't know if you're quite as safe as putting an Apatosaur on the shelf as you are a Brachiosaur. I think, I think they will. I mean, look, the box art was messed up one time. And remember the Brachiosaurus box art had the Apatosaurus on there uh, with yeah. the, the silhouette. Now, maybe that was just, you know, just. No, uh, it's, bad. it's just bad graphic design. Not no, They don't know. Like, maybe, you, maybe. We, we can't expect that these artists all like love Jurassic like we do. The, the artist was like, "Oh, love it, cool." <laughs> this is the one. This is the this is the graphic we're yeah. gonna use. That's the one we made, right? Um, yeah. Or or maybe it was just in their collection. And they just used the wrong one because they're gonna be making it down the road. Who knows? Um, I think they probably will. Um, I think I think at some point they're probably gonna do a Jurassic World line um, because. We never had we never had proper Jurassic World toys from Mattel. You know, we don't have Claire in her white outfit. We don't have uh, Owen's kind of whatever. His outfit's always the same. I feel like, um, but we don't have oh, like Hoskins God. and you know stuff from that movie. So I think you know uh, Mizrani, uh, the Apatosaurus. Um, we do have the Indominus Rex, but um, you know I'd like to see you know more from that. So maybe that would be a good time to do that. But um, who knows? We don't have any confirmation, and yeah. That about wraps up my <laughs> discussion on this. And I looked at our clock and I realized we have probably the biggest topic to get to. And we've already been going for two hours. So... <laughs> well, is that all we have left is the biggest topic? Um, oh, you know, we do have one more thing that we wanted to discuss, too. Yeah, that's right. I didn't put well, it on the, the list here, but um, go ahead. You, you you bring it up. I'm going to bring up the image here um, while you talk about Wait, that. Wait, no, I don't, I don't know if I know which one I'm talking about. Hold on. Oh, I, it's I the... the uh, <laughs> the um it's not on our list it's uh it was added chronicle collectibles right so oh, Chron- chronicle yeah. collectibles um just i guess just posted this information and w- like we're kind of learning about this right now because um like i said it was just posted right before we started recording and we have no clue what it is but it seems like they're gonna be doing a kickstarter uh for a jurassic item here um I have the link now, so let's uh, let's bring that up here. This is, oh, I don't know what it is. I gotta read it while you're reading it. Hold on to your butts. Jurassic World one twelfth articulated articulated figures coming to Kickstarter. Um, so we have blue here. True one twelfth scale officially licensed articulated figures coming to Kickstarter again. Same thing. Uh, so yeah, no no information as far as I can tell here. Just. Items coming to Kickstarter. Let's, uh, can we click on anything else? Because I believe there was something else that I uh, clicked on at some point. I have negative thoughts on this. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. Go ahead. What are your negative thoughts on bringing an item to Kickstarter? I think it is bull that you are allowed to Kickstart a licensed property. I think that is. I think that is unfair to everyone else who holds the license and isn't allowed to kickstart their product line. So for instance, I think that's unfair that they get to kickstart these 
Raptors that are probably, I would imagine the same scale as like the Amber collection, yeah. but they get to kickstart it. And then Mattel wasn't allowed to kickstart the Amber, like didn't, it, or that's not part of their model or it's not something they thought of. Like Mattel basically had to take a chance. And like you said, they're probably losing money on the Amber collection at this point. Like, I think it's bull that this company gets to hold this license and then gets to do a test on Kickstarter. Now, when you it's pay money strange. on Kickstarter, sorry, what? It's very strange. Like when you pay money on Kickstarter, there's no guarantee that they have to like produce anything. So Chronicle can take your money <laughs> and be like, well, we didn't get enough interest, so we can't take this to production. Well, but we yeah, spent all not... the money on R and D and art. Sure. Let's not like, say. Let's not accuse them uh, just no, yet. So no, 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 no. I'm not accusing. I'm saying. <laughs> This is something that can happen. It, so like, in in yeah, in previous um, you know product launches, I guess you could say uh, on Kickstarter. I've I've never had any um, issues with Kickstarter. Um, oh, here I'm looking at GameStop. Ian Malcolm, seven ninety seven. Um, Ooh, send me the link, please. But uh, I don't even know if he's available. Um, free I mean, pickup. Sure. Free pickup. Uh, free no hurry. Oh, it says not available. Okay, not available. Never mind. Um, uh, I was just looking up uh the scale because I, I I didn't know if it said anything specifically, but yeah, the scale of the original Raptors is six and a half inches. Um, these new Raptors, uh, yeah, are six inches. So let me let me actually just get into a little bit about this thing too. Um, we're uh, I do have it still on the screen. It says we're trying something new. Chronicle Collect Collectibles owes our existence to our community of fans and collectors. We haven't needed to crowdfund a collectible statue, prop, replica, or figure before. However, we have big plans for a one twelfth true scale line of Jurassic World franchise figures, and we want to be sure everyone hears about them. Um, I guess okay. Um, they don't know when this is going to start. They don't have their approvals or final prototypes. Um. It's so weird. So, so they're hoping to launch the campaign campaign uh, during this summer blockbuster season. So, sometime this summer, maybe. Um, I don't understand what these are. It says this this these figures are one twelfth scale. Our true Velop Velociraptor Blue stands approximately six inches tall and is twelve inches long. Uh, what are true scale figures? True scale figures are designed to be as close to their on-screen counterpart in height and proportions as we can make them. Um, okay, sure. So essentially what it sounds like is the Amber Collection. So um, I'm guessing it's just more detailed. And certainly with Chronicle Collectibles, I'm assuming we can expect this to be a lot more money. Um, I don't well, know they're, specifically. They're but one six scale. They're one six scale. Uh, let's see if I can get there quickly. They're one six scale Velociraptor. So basically double the size of this is like 200 and and that's uh, that's a stat what is that is that a statue or is that a posable articulated one six scale is one six scale is completely posable so I don't know if you if my framing you can see the one six scale figures behind me oh okay um, all those humans are a foot tall um, based on like a standard six foot human and so mm -hmm. The Alan, oh my gosh, their one six scale Velociraptor is four hundred and fifty dollars. Oh boy, okay. I don't know if that's Canadian. That might be Canadian. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's like two something, isn't it? Or no, I, I never know. With Chronicle, I any amount you say is probably accurate because, <laughs> like, I feel like their stuff is very, very expensive. Um, it's not, you know, typically for the average collector that's just collecting Mattel stuff. Um, and like I said, I love the Amber Collection Velociraptor Blue, but this certainly looks a little bit more detailed, like, but honestly not too far off from what we have here with the Amber Collection. The claws look a bit different. Um, the paint job's slightly different, it looks like. Uh, the eye looks, you know, a bit more real, and the mouth looks a bit more real. But uh, outside of that, I'm like, why would I get this versus the Amber Collection? This just looks like you're going to be paying a lot more for something well, not all that different. And so here's what's funny, right? And and the key is paint, right? So I actually, I have plans on possibly pre-ordering the Allen and Velociraptor, but only from Sideshow, not from Chronicle. Now, by buying from Sideshow, I'm missing out on a lot of the props. Like the, I think there's a flame 
and a taser and stuff that I'm missing out on. Um, but I have a point. I'm part of like the sideshow like point system. So like I would actually get money off of this pre-order if I were to do it. But the paint on Chronicle figures is never what you get. Like their paint in their um, in their prototypes is always better than what you get in the final product. So these being smaller, because honestly, they look like it looks like the same mold as the one six scale. Like it's got the same articulation, and it looks like the same exact mold, just smaller, right? These all sure. just come. These are all just ZBrush files that get made into produced things. So they're they're the same exact parts just scale down um sure. i don't know man if yeah i'm comparing oh let me uh let me bring up that one too but i'm comparing on our video the amber collection and this one sixth or one twelfth sorry one twelfth scale um and you can definitely see there's there's differences there's certainly big differences like this as long as this paint turns out like this um there would be big differences but right. honestly not enough for to be hundreds of or well, maybe even a hundred or so dollars. I don't know. Let's actually, um, let's actually like test that theory. Can you do me a favor? Can you go to Sideshow? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the one sixth. Um, what? I'm trying to get the uh, blue uh, one sixth, right? I'll, I'll check on my phone then. Because um, I know my phone will show me US prices. Um, not wait around not for us. Prime one, right? That's something different. No. One is amazing, but it, yeah. they're statues. They're posable. No, no, those are statues. That's right. Yeah. Um, Prime One statue is six hundred and ninety nine dollars. Um, that's life size what, for what, baby what blue. Company, right? What are we talking about? Uh, no, that's that's uh, adult blue. Oh, okay. Um, Chronicle collectibles. No, that's still Dude, this. This what, six what scale are we talking about? Is it just a? Oh, it's just. Oh, it's not blue, right? It's just regular Raptor, isn't it? Can I can't that? see. No, not at all. <laughs> one six. Great. Okay, one sixth Velociraptor. Here it is. Four, it says four forty nine. Yeah. Okay. And that Canadian, thing looks beautiful. Can like... name, that six scale figure is six hundred and thirty five dollars. Oh yikes! That's okay. insane. That is absolutely insane. All right. So for uh, for the record, I, you can't see it. It you out there? I've I've been over this on this podcast. The Hulk. In all of his like armor, like his green oh, armor. that thing's beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. Hot Toys did that. I want to say for the price point of like four hundred dollars, and they okay. want four hundred fifty dollars for a Raptor. Like that just is, that's crazy. Uh, Chronicles, Chronicles price point is beyond insane for what they yeah. produce. So I don't know. So I, I mean. I, like they they do look comparable, um, the one sixth and the one twelfth scale figures, um, so, you know, in in quality. But who knows what it will turn out like for real? But um, yeah, blue amber collection. I keep bringing it back to that because this is thirty four dollars right now. It looks like I think it was cheaper originally, maybe, um, or in different stores maybe. But um, what do you estimate? This one twelfth is if the one sixth is four forty nine. So is this in yeah. the two hundred range? Two two twenty. Yeah. I mean, look, it's this. It's it's half the materials. So this has to be two hundred and twenty dollar figure. So you're paying for uh, three pairs of hands, a neutral and attack, relaxed. Oh. Um, this is the uh, one sixth. Um, yeah. A stun baton and hard hat. Um, See, so those are maybe... the things I miss out on if I order from. Oh Sideshow. yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what it's constructed of. This says PVC. I don't know if it's all the same. This is uh, measures twenty five. Okay, that's probably just a box. Um, oh no, no, twelve inch height. Yeah, so it's exactly half, obviously. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if what this is going to be doesn't say anything there's no links it's everything's coming soon um you can subscribe for more information but uh yeah this is interesting a kickstarter figure it just seems like um like not something that would be officially licensed right it just seems like it would come from like somebody making one <laughs> so it is weird to come yeah. from chronicle collectibles who's been making very very expensive figures 
So I don't know why they need to experiment here with Kickstarter. It seems odd, but it also seems like they're kind of dipping into the Mattel waters, but at a probably a much more expensive uh, price point. Now, the only thing that I could think would drive down and maybe why they're doing Kickstarter, maybe they're feeling the waters for how much interest there is in something like this. Um, because mm-hmm. I would imagine that the plan would be to mass produce these at a much larger rate. Like, are they wanting to get into that Mattel pool? And that's, maybe, that's, like, honestly... maybe make this like a 60 or $70 Raptor. But see, like, that's the thing. Like, I'm not interested in that because I, I mean, I like to collect in masses. So, you know, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this quality looks really great so far, but um, I, yeah, I don't even know if they could hit that 70 mark. I think it would have to be way more than that, you know, especially going off that other one, unless all these materials and something are, that they're making it out of are completely different and way cheaper. But I don't know. It just seems weird. It seems like some weird in-between, you know, item that I just don't understand. So we'll see what it, what it ends up being, but, uh, we don't have too much information just yet. Um, but yeah, unless they I mean, release more information, I don't know. This is all I see. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be really interesting to see what happens. I'm, I don't have too much faith in this taking off. Um, and I would hope that they would refund all the money if it didn't. Oh, I, I would hope so. Yeah. They do say here that, uh, these are, collectibles that are true to character collectors can assure that uh when dr alan grant is displayed next to dr e malcolm that our favorite chaotician k yeah chaotician will be uh indeed taller okay chaos i don't know if i'm saying that word right chaotician chaotician yeah. okay. chaotic. <laughs> chaotic. um yeah all right so that's that i don't know what you guys think i'm kind of confused and probably won't dip into this uh but i'm interested to see what is going on um so yeah yeah, I mean, I'm interested. I'm always interested to see. <laughs> um, yeah. I just, you know, I, I feel like I was a little burned on the T-Rex. I thought the baby raptor display turned out pretty good. Um, but I've seen other things floating around on the internet, like of the Stegosaur and the Pachycephalosaur, that I was not impressed. So mm. um, Chronicle worries me a little bit for sure. Sure, yeah. Um, I know that. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows that. Um, so what is our last night?